Today, all of us are becoming increasingly aware of how we affect our environment. The air we breathe, the water so necessary for life, the energy required to power our civilization have all been impacted by humanity's increasing demand on what Mother Nature can give. Instead, we must consider the environment as part of our economy, health, and community, all working together and affecting what we call the green lifestyle. A healthier environment means healthier lives for all of us. When we think of an energy efficient home, the first thing we may think of are the utilities we need to heat and cool that home. Secondly, we probably think about the power we need to go to the appliances. And then we think about the construction material. Well, today Think Green visits a new home using a brand new construction material that helps us live a more energy efficient lifestyle. With so much importance society now places on living efficient and environmentally friendly lives, how we build our homes is changing. As construction practices of the past are replaced with newer, greener ones, so are the materials used. Research has led to the development of new construction materials that are superior in many ways to those of a previous generation. One of these materials has recently gone through a radical change for the better. Think Green visited the factory to take a look. And this football is made of that material. Go deep! Can you guess what it is? This countertop and wall section brings a stylish and unique design element to a home's interior. What makes them different other than the uniqueness of the design element? They, just like the football, are made of concrete. I hooked up with Paul Falco, the president of Cellular Concrete Technologies and co-inventor, to see how concrete has been improved, making it a sustainable material for both inside and outside our homes for today and the future. Paul, so this room divider and wall selection are incredible, and I hear that they're actually made of the lightweight concrete that you and your partners developed. What can you tell us about each of these two items? Well, first of all, on the countertop, we used glass instead of rock. We made it half the weight by adding air into it. And now we have a countertop that can be polished like this without adding any chemicals. We use a floor tile, can be used as a floor complete, used as a countertop. Uh, wall panel. This is a wall panel. This can be used as a room divider or for building homes. Cellular concrete, like regular concrete, can be used in many ways and is starting to become a big trend for its design appeal as well as its cost efficiency and broad spectrum of use. Now you've also mentioned that it's insulated. Does that mean yes. that it keeps it cool in hot months and vice versa? Absolutely. Uh, based on the adobe where they had an eight inches of soil that made a home that was impervious to the heat or cold, we've done the same thing by adding air entrainment into our concrete. That we're able to get an eight inch wall that has an R19, which is the most that you would normally find in an exterior wall on any kind of construction. Stable Air Lightweight Concrete is an aerated concrete, basically full of tiny air bubbles, using a patented aeration process and foaming agent. Now, what can you tell us about the lightweight concrete and why it's better? Well, lightweight concrete is better for many reasons. Number one is for seismic reasons. Uh, earthquake is going to pull a building mm -hmm. to the ground is by the weight that's holding up. So if we make the building lighter and get still strong enough, we can use less money to build the building and make it safer. And what's really cool is that by adding air, less concrete or sand is used, which cuts back on excavation, shipping, packaging, and delivery costs, and ultimately pollution created. The material we use to make this is uh, biodegradable and is non-toxic. Here is a standard conventional block. Okay. It has about one third of the material as our lightweight blocks are. It has no insulation quality, and this does. And you could try it and pick it up and see what you. Oh wow! See. Okay, let's see. So this is the traditional this is block here. Heavyweight concrete. Okay, it's let's, heavy. Let's see. That that is heavy. You're not lying. That's definitely heavy. And so you're telling me this one is going to be significantly lighter. Significantly lighter and three times more material you're picking up. It's much bigger. I'm kind of nervous, but I believe you. Let's see. Okay. Oh wow. Okay. Much lighter. <laughs> So we thought we'd put the blocks to the test. The conventional concrete block weighs in at 35.5 pounds. The insulated concrete block weighs only 22.1 pounds. 
This material is 17 years in the making and new uses and methods are still developed every day. And it sounds like there are so many different applications. And I'm wondering if this lightweight concrete can be used in the same way that traditional concrete is used, for example, in a slab when you're building a home. Absolutely. Uh, what we do is we put less air in the slab. We want the slab and the footing, the base of the home to be heavy because we, it's in the ground, it's our foundation. But we put air in there so that we're able to stop a freeze-thaw problem, which is why concrete cracks most times. In cold weather, water absorbs into it and it freezes and expands and it cracks. By having the air voids in there, we're able to eliminate that from happening. Okay, so we put the cement and the water in here. Now we're going to add the foam. All right. All right, so what's going to happen with this foam? Is it actually going to mix in? It's going to mix in entirely with this. Now, I know it looks like it can't possibly happen, but this will all be cement here in about another minute. It's kind of like watching paint dry. All right, I think we're ready now. Okay. And this is the material that we use to make those blocks in the wall panel. Wow, that's so amazing. This is where it all starts. Right here. So research and development to make this a product that can be used for very lightweight insulated to very high strength and lightweight structural material. So in what parts of the home is it appropriate to use the lightweight concrete? We can use the lightweight concrete in all parts of the home, from the roof tiles all the way down to the foundation, the floors, the exterior walls. Uh, we use it for countertops. You can use it for finished tile. And they're actually basically everything proof. Is that correct? Absolutely. The house becomes fireproof. Uh, termite's not going to eat it. Uh, fire can't destroy it. Tur tornadoes can't destroy it. Uh, uh, hurricane proof. It's a, it really, it's a less expensive home and it's far safer. Stable Flow is used internationally for low cost and protective housing in Africa and housing to help rebuild Iraq. Work is also being done on some more decorative homes in the U.S. and this elaborate hotel in India. And I know a lot of people are thinking about a cement house and envisioning a big gray box, but that's not the case at all, correct? Uh, no, it's the first thing my mother said to me is, geez, it's going to be ugly. And <laughs> actually, we have more versatility with a concrete home. We can make any style or shape we want. There's far more things that we can do with, it, with this type of material. So how can people out there, homeowners and contractors, get more information? Well, they just go to our website at CellularConcreteTechnologies.com, or they can give us a call. Very cool. Well, thank you so much for having us out here today. Well, thank you for coming out. We appreciate uh, you taking the time. Very exciting. And we'll have a link to Paul's website in the Think Green section of DesigningSpaces.tv. And also, viewers can watch this part of the show again with a simple click of the mouse. I'm Jocelyn Davis for Designing Spaces Think Green. New technologies are here now, improving our lifestyles and the environment. For Designing Spaces Think Green from the Murakami in Delray Beach, Florida, I'm Ted Brunson. You can visit these websites to learn more about the participants on this edition of Designing Spaces.